Hey guys, it's Lucy Fink, and this week I'm trying five days of spending time alone. I hate being alone because FOMO is a real thing, and I totally have it. Are you great having fun without me? Stop! We live in an age where people are fearful of doing things by themselves because they're afraid what others are going to think of them. One, crazy. Two, valid. Let me tell you about the spotlight effect. We have this egocentric way of thinking that makes us feel like everyone is looking at us, even though we are essentially going unnoticed. Remember when I did that week without my cell phone? Have you seen that episode yet? I thought this would be another good challenge. Am I afraid to spend time by myself? No, but I am excited to see what I can take away from these moments. Typically, if I get a coffee before work, it's on the run. But today, I'm gonna park it at a coffee shop nearby, and I'm just gonna read and people watch, no cell phone. I will report back and we'll let you know how I felt on my own in the coffee shop. I really like being by myself. I like eating by myself. Um, I just always make sure to have a phone or a magazine or something so I'm not like by myself by myself. Bringing this with me to the cafe, bad idea. I thought that leaving my phone at home would be enough, but as it turns out, bringing a book is essentially the same thing. They both take you away from truly being by yourself. I've realized that people actually bring phones and books with them into public spaces to subtly hide their shame for the fact that they're alone. So being in the cafe with my book didn't really feel like I was spending time by myself. So for my next solo excursion, no activities are permitted. No cell phone, no book, just Lucy. I left the office in the middle of the day and I went to a sit down lunch just by myself. I ordered a triple decker chicken bacon sandwich with chips and an iced tea. You know what they say about when one of your senses goes away, the others get very strong? My sense of taste was explosive. When you go out to a meal alone, you don't have that whole side of your brain operating that's telling you to be social and keep up the conversation. Instead, your brain is focusing on one thing and one thing only, two things, chicken and bacon. Commuting home is my me time. If I see one of my coworkers leaving the office at the same time as me, I'll walk four blocks out of my way just to not have to commute with them. I've been trying to think of things that I can do on my own. And something that I know a lot of creative, bright, intelligent people do is go to museums by themselves. I have never been to a museum by myself. But there's a catch. Instead of sending myself to a regular art gallery, why not mix it up a bit and make me feel super uncomfortable by myself? So I went to the sex museum. Obviously the fact that it was a sex museum brought a whole new layer into this. But if I'm being completely honest, I wish that I had a friend when I left the museum because I had a lot of questions. My theory is that if you're eating alone, it doesn't mean that you don't deserve attention. So if you sit at the bar, then you get a lot of attention from the bartender and you get to hit on the bartender. Thursday night, movie night. And this is the night that I have been dreading. I have never been to the movies alone. So I'm gonna challenge myself. I'm going to a scary movie by myself. I don't like scary movies. Wish me luck. That was bad. I'm sleeping with my lamp on. I have to, I have to. One of the places I love going by myself is the dog park. I don't even have a dog, but I like to go to the dog park and uh, watch other people's dogs. I once met a guy who knew a guy who wrote a book, and that book was about loving yourself. Every single relationship we have in our life is going to come to an end, whether it's by a breakup or a divorce or in the worst of circumstances, death. Every single relationship is gonna end except that one relationship that you have with yourself. Give yourself the opportunity to enjoy your own company. Learn who you are. Learn what you like and don't like when there's nobody else around. I didn't necessarily love being by myself all the time. Even if you feel uncomfortable, force yourself to be in those situations because loving yourself is the most important thing in the world. And then cookies. Love yourself, then cookies. Cookies are maybe better. Are you tired of living alone? Try living with me, Lucy, instead. Subscribe to Refinery29 for more episodes of Try Living with Lucy. I promise I'm really fun.